I'd been donating for uh, since I was about 19 years old uh, with a pretty big break in between there and for the last few years I've been donating about four to five times a year. I stopped uh, just because I discovered that my ferritin levels were very low. I figured that I was donating a little too frequently for what my body could handle so um, I just wanted to give myself time to boost those levels back up again to where they're supposed to be. Basically I just found that I was um, sluggish and tired more than usual uh, and like I said the activity tolerance that exercise tolerance uh, I just couldn't be as active as I I would have liked to I've more noticed that since I've stopped donating since I've supplemented my iron um, and as that levels started to climb back up again that I just am more active and have more energy in general again I absolutely would donate again uh, I know that I need to watch my ferritin levels a little bit more closely and that I I probably won't be able to donate whole blood as often as I was before, but donating blood is really important. We're, we're constantly short. I work with people every single day who need blood donations. It's just important that, uh, that people kind of know that they should and can donate if they're healthy enough to do so.